what's going on y'all so um i'm gonna try to make this video as quick as i can i'm really not feeling well and that's why you didn't get it yesterday my acid reflux has got you know you have good days and you got bad days and it's been a bad couple of days like last night was really really bad but um let me see how i'm gonna get through this catfish you know what to be quite honest this episode of catfish that came on last night it was an hour and 30 minutes why it was not even nothing to be an hour and 30 minutes over like they could have did it in a regular hour time um it was this girl kayla i think she i don't know how old she was but i know she 18 or something like that her and her um boyfriend or whatever they got a kid she got contacted on facebook or something by this girl named courtney and you know courtney was telling her some stuff about her family whatever and somehow they became cool you know and they never met and i think courtney lived in florida she lives in and she's originally from ohio and so um kayla lives somewhere in between that you know ohio kentucky something like that and basically what wound up happening well kentucky what wound up happening is um her father died you know, when they meet Max and Eve and all this stuff, and she's telling her all this information, basically, Courtney is almost like what you will say, a medium or a psychic or something, if you believe in that stuff. I don't believe in it, but, you know, after watching this, I was just sitting here like, mm, let me go pray, because it was just a lot that was going on in the sense that she was telling the girl a whole bunch of stuff about her family, about her father in general, and I was just sitting here like, do I believe this or not? I'm not even finna stretch my brain out of it. I want you guys to put down in the comments, do you think that this is real? Or do you feel like she made this up and they just went along with it? You know, because there have been some catfishes that catfished the hell out of all of us, including catfish himself. So, I don't know. I don't even feel like this was a catfish type of situation. Like, why put this on here? I just, uh, it just felt so out of place. But, um, basically, they wanted to meet Courtney. Courtney was telling them all this stuff about Kayla's family, about the father, how the father, you know, on the father's side, his father had mental illness. So I guess it carried on until um, to, uh, uh, to him, you know, and eventually, I think in 1999, that's what she said. Um, the mother, the father wound up stabbing the mother over 27 times, killing her. He had a mental break and then taking the kids and putting them in the car. Mind you, the mother was pregnant, you know, with a son, um, taking the kids and put them in a the car and the cops was just, you know, chasing them and shooting them and all this stuff. And I'm like, I hope that the cops didn't know that no kids was in the car because why was you shooting at them? I just thought you could have shot one of the kids. That's, that didn't make sense to me. But, um, after that, you know, they got out the car. He went to jail. And while he was in jail, he had another mental break. Um, He was diagnosed with schizophrenic bipolar or something like that. And um, while he was in jail, he wound up committing suicide. He hung himself. So this Courtney girl just came out the blue talking to Kayla about all this stuff that was going on about the way that Kate, um, um, I think his name was Frankie. The way he liked his hamburgers, his cheeseburgers with only ketchup and all this other stuff that, you know, smaller details that really wasn't put out there in the newspapers and stuff like that. And so it was freaking her out. So she wanted to see if this stuff was really true. So they finally, you know, go through their little search and they found somebody who was cool with this girl, Courtney, because they go through her Facebook page and it was like, it's a real person. It is a real person. And... You know, she's just, they going through her friends and the people that keep commenting on her stuff. And it was this Facebook account that I guess was for this guy named Eric, but his wife, Erica, you know, I was like, that is cute. But that is kind of like, because you with Facebook is like, mm, is it real? You know, I mean, uh, catfish, you like Eric and Erica, that is hmm, coincidental or did y'all sort that out? You know, it was cute though. But it could have been a catfish in himself, you know. But they called this Eric. Um, they sent a message, and you know the girl was like, "I'm I'm using my husband Facebook account. This is what we use together, something like that." And if you have any questions, or whatever, you just give me a call. They sent her a message, and she called right back. She literally called like not not more than a minute later, and was just basically talking about how she know Courtney. Um, basically Courtney moved in 
her family moved in next door to them and they instantly became good friends. They instantly became like family. And she said that Frankie has been in her house before. Not the actual being, but this spirit of Frankie been in the house before and all this stuff. It was just, I was like, you know, I shouldn't be sitting here listening to this because I don't believe in this stuff, but okay. And so it was like freaking people out a little bit. You know, his sister Shannon was not trying to hear that stuff. And mostly it was because I guess... She's trying to figure out if somebody is spreading secrets about the family and there's certain stuff that, you know, don't want Kayla to know about and want to be hurt by. And the whole time Kayla was talking to Neve and Max and Shannon was talking to them on separate occasions and basically trying to see was they feeding each other information. Because when they finally met up with Courtney, you know, she was like, oh, hi. She did seem creepy when she came up and we wanted a hug and stuff. And I was just like, girl. Okay. And so, you know, she was like, you look like you got your father's eyes. You have your father's eyes. And I would have been like, stop the press. Hold on. Scoot back. Okay. Do not touch me. And, um, (laughs) and, uh, (laughs) these fools up in his house. But uh, anyway, my sister, I apologize. But um, she on the toilet, bitch. But um, <laughs> I'm telling you, my mama was over here watching me. Because listen, I'm telling you, last night, I just had so uninteresting the, um, the show is. Last night, I don't even know what happened. Yesterday, I ate breakfast, okay, and I was fine. Until I ate breakfast, I did what I had to do, I worked out, I was fine, I washed some clothes, did some, um, you know, cleaned up around the house, did everything, I, I, it was normal, but towards like four, five, no, towards like five something last night, I just felt all my energy go out of me, and it had been cooler out here, so the heat was off in the house, and I had turned the heat on, because it was extra cold in the house, because it was cold outside. So, I'm trying to warm myself up, and I just realized that my body was not getting warm, and, um, I just didn't know what was going on. My sister was like, girl, you got, you come down, so and I said, hell no, but I just kept on throwing up, throwing up, throwing up, throwing up, and what I was throwing up was acid, and acid with little bits of food, and I knew something was going on, because I couldn't eat for the rest of the day. That, I only had that one meal that morning and I didn't even feel the urge that I was hungry or anything like that I just I just knew someone right I mean I was just throwing up I'm sorry to you know put this all out there I was just ugh, regurgitating all over the place and it's just like my stomach muscles muscles the gagging and all that stuff it just wouldn't let up I was like damn can I breathe I'm not about to pass out from doing all this stuff so my chest is hurting my throat is hurting it's just a lot y'all but um that's what was going on uh, but back to this story. Long story short, um, Kayla basically was not really impressed by what Courtney was saying because all the stuff that Courtney was telling her was the stuff that she had already told her previously in messages and stuff like that. And of course, Max and me even them, they was like, oh, I believe her. I believe her. Um, nothing is telling me that she's fake or whatever. And Kayla was like, you know, we're going to have to reconvene the next day because if she can't tell me something that nobody else know, like some smaller details, I'm not going to buy it. So they met up the next day and they were sitting there and, you know, she was telling her about it was sexual abuse that was going on. Um, uh, Frankie and the sister used to get locked up in basements and stuff. And that's what took Kayla out right in there because she said... No one else knew about that, and that really did happen, and that her mama was a stripper and stuff. And I was like, girl, what? Y'all got some shit up in y'all family. And so um, she just started telling them some more little tad bits here and there at the house. And basically what they wind up doing is they wind up believing what she was saying and thinking that it was real. And Sharon, Sharon, Shannon, whatever, the aunt, she was just conflicted because she said, the stuff that she's saying now, I see that it's somewhat real because she is saying stuff that I no one else should know, like only the family would know or certain people in the family would know. But then again, it goes against her religious view. So she's just conflicted. And that's basically 
And then Quentin was like, you know, so we could be cool and be friends and all that stuff after this. I would have been like, girl, no. She was like, Frankie is all around us. He's here right now. You know, he won't come out and speak. You know, he's kind of upset at himself because you guys forgave him and he can't forgive himself. I said, girl, that was the episode. I'm sorry for this half ass review, but um, it really wasn't deep. It really wasn't much to go off of. I'm just, I'm trying to give y'all what I can. I don't want to leave y'all hanging um, too much longer without a video because y'all know that ain't me. Um... Y'all tell me down in the comments if you felt that it was real or if you felt somebody was playing some games, okay? Peace.